Hello everyone, how's it going? Doctor Incompetent here, and let's play Graveyard Keeper. Well, everyone, it has been a while since I've played some Graveyard Keeper, and I'm so excited to jump back in and play some more with the Better Save Soul DLC that just came out. And we're going to dive right into it. If you're new to the series, uh, I want to encourage you to know that I start this game from the very beginning and play 130 plus episodes all the way through Breaking Dead, Stranger Sins, and the Game of Crone DLCs, as well as, as the base game, getting all of the achievements for, from Steam for the game, except for, I believe, two that require uh, just making different plot choices and playing the game again. So I've done basically everything you can do in the game, and the last DLC really ended on a note that suggested there would be more content. I was hoping there would be, and here we are. So without further ado, let's just dive right into this. Okay, now you can see I have this massive save file here. It's 489 <laughs> days into the game, and let's go for it. I want to thank Tiny Build for giving me access to the game for free so I could play some of the expansion and deliver some content. And they've been really generous, and I say thank you for making such a great game, and let's see what this is all about. So right away, I begin in my home sweet home and notice that it's different. There is an extra space that's been added onto the side with a blueprint manager on the wall, which is totally new. So it's kind of like Robin came in from Stardew Valley and expanded my home. Now, I also made a video called Five Wishes for Graveyard Keeper, and one of the wishes was for the ability to upgrade and customize your home. I know that there was a content or patch update to the game prior to the Better Save Soul expansion that came out that did let you customize your home. So that is an amazing feature. And let's see what this is all about. Looks like a good place to work on making my home cozy. Okay, then maybe I can finally stop dreaming about this skull. Well, that would be nice. I mean, Jerry's a cool dude and all, but all right, what can we build? We can build a picture of a burning witch yikes or a bridge of the dead a red eye the bishop's choice donkeys of the world unite so it's interesting so what we can do is um make some paintings to, that commemorate events from the game and we can also put in some carpet some flower shelves we can change our bedding and we can change uh, the wallpaper. So right away, I love this. One of the wishes I did have also was to change my character's outfits, and we'll see if that actually goes, happens. So it looks like it requires um, yellow paint, blue paint, wow, all kinds of paint, violet paint, that I don't know if I ever really used or if it was even in the game. I mean, obviously, some of the paint was, but we'll find out. Updated cooking table. Well, we definitely want that. A cupboard. Okay, and the household utensils rack. So that's fantastic. Let's see if it kept everything. Yep, it did. It kept all my stuff. And you'll notice that my inventory is enormous, and I even emptied it out, mostly. So um, I can hold pretty much everything in the game on my person if I want to. Uh, so let's do that. I wonder if they ever fixed these candles and let you do anything with them. We'll see. Okay. And here's my cooking table. I wonder how you activate the new DLC. Anyway, I'm going to walk out and... Yep. Oh my, it's great to see the old farm. And, yep, the zombies are still working. This zombie is doing nothing because I don't have any tasks. So let's see, I believe I organized all my stuff. Let me just 
take out some items, nails, whatever it is. Complex parts, simple parts, good... I don't know if I need steel parts, but I'll take them. Now I need some lumber. It's not in there. I might need glass, you never know. And let's see. I definitely have wooden beams to burn. I've got flitch to burn. And I have planks all over the place. So let's see what I can just build right away with what I have. Pinning ingredients would be awesome, but that doesn't seem to be the way of it. Oh gosh, I got a body. I forgot about this. I've got to take care of these bodies. Okay, the donkey is back in business and has dumped this off. And this is... Wow, what a nice day for a bonus corpse. Oh, it says strange delivery. I got a new achievement. Wait, it's still moving. Uh-oh. Donkey delivered a moving corpse. Maybe the poor fellow died quite recently? Uh-oh. So it's not from the ship of the dead? I've never sliced up a warm one before. I know, we haven't. This is disturbing. Let this body cool off a bit. I'll take care of it later. Uh-oh, it's talking. What? You're alive? Okay, I'll help you, but stay calm, okay? Otherwise, I can't let you up and... Okay. Well, this is funny. Oh, man, I forgot about the talking in this game. The, <laughs> the sounds they make when they speak are so hysterical. Uh, but how are you... And I assume you're the keeper, right? And we're in the morgue now, right? Oh gosh, he knows a lot about us. Yes, that's right. Yes, how do you... There's no time for all the yickety yak, yakety yak. My name is Yurik, and that must be enough for now. I am in trouble. I, brought, uh, I bought a keeper's book from a creepy man with a scar. According to the book, there's a locked door in the morgue. I expect... I am expect you're aware... Uh, or you mean, I expect you're aware, I guess? And this is the door, yes. Give me the key, Keeper. I don't know what key you want. Are you joking or what? No, not kidding, quite serious. And you've no idea what book I now hold in my hands. Nope, no idea. Oh, crap. Listen carefully, then. I'll read this bit for you. And I glued the key with the chewing gum to the inner side of the skull. I have no idea what skull it might be or where it is. For, of course, I am no keeper. It falls to you. Find and bring me the key. And what happens when I do? Oh, you worry about the key. Meanwhile, I'll look for a keyhole. Okay, great. Well... So, there was one actual corpse and one Yurik. Okay, so, uh, leave. I got a new task. Um, I guess, good? Uh, let's see here. Technologies, map, known NPCs... You need to get back home, uh, home with your love. Yep, so I still have to beat the game, of course. But let's get the key from Jerry. Jerry! Um, about the amulet of spirit summoning. What? That's locked. Okay, try to explain the situation. It might be better not to mention anything about the key that's stuck inside his head. Just look at that face. What are you up to? Oh, nothing. I was just thinking about something. I've never seen you doing any of that before. Ha ha ha. Good one. Never mind. Just kidding. So what's on your mind? Boy, I love how funny this game is. Well, I was just thinking you might enjoy a little cleaning. Yeah. What? I mean, you must have been buried in the ground a long time. And now you sit here all day among the dust and the dead bodies. Yeah, let's clean you up. What if we freshened you up a little? We'll have you smelling real nice with hints of beer. Sard, I never thought of that before. You're a real bright star. Ha ha. I'm in.
All right, let's clean the guy. Um, so we just need to use beer and sand. Um, all right, so let's go get some beer and sand. Lucky for us, I have beer and sand everywhere. I still have five hours of my speed potion left, so that's terrific. Okay, so did I put sand up here? I sure did. Um, I just want to take one, please. And beer. Hmm. Do I have beer that's not in the tavern? That might be a little bit trickier. I have the Pega Amulet of Spirit Summoning. Maybe I can use this with Jerry for something? I don't even know what that does. I can't remember. Um, let's see. This is my food. Um, do I have beer in here? No. Hmm. Oops. No, I don't actually need... Well, that's fine. What else do I have? Oh, good. I've got beer. I have a gold mug of beer, even. Jerry's going to be so thrilled. Nothing but the best for Jerry. And by the way, everyone, you're going to have to apologize me as I reacclimate myself to the controls. All right, let's start. Oh, it has to be copper beer? Blah. I can't use gold beer? That seems preposterous. Okay, um... Well, let's find some bad beer. Maybe I can just buy it at the bar. I suppose. Uh, let me look around. Do I have any terrible beer? Um, let's see. What do you need? I just want to make bad beer. All I need is water. Okay, so what I do is just say... Uh, cancel this all together and let me get you some water my good sir oh let me get some more than that I'll just take all the water that's in here I keep forgetting I have so many bags that are enormous I can just carry everything so there By the way, what even is this thing? Fermentation barrel. Right, right. Okay. Um, craft me a mug of beer. Just one. And then can I just do it myself? Yep. Craft a mug of beer. Oh. Does this just happen over time? That bar is not filling up. Oh, this is... I can't... This is a zombie brewery. Right, right, right. My fault. My fault. I can't actually craft it there myself. I would have to... Uh, use my own brewing machine. Do I even have one? I don't even know if I... Make beer outside of the... Alright, he's going for it. He's working on it. This is embarrassing. I got wine barrels. I got a brewing... Oh, here we go. Here we go. Mug of beer. Yep. And we're just going to make copper. Oh, no. It still just automatically does it either way. Okay. Well, while this beer, then, is being made, let's work on our house. So we can make the household utensils rack. And we can just... Oh, the only place we can put this is over here. Okay, there you go. And then we can make um, the updated cooking table. And we did. And so, apply. And then we can produce um, a cupboard. Wait. Um, Old-fashioned cupboard? Oh, it just changes the cupboard. Okay, yeah, I like the old-fashioned one. That looks cool. Can you do anything with this now? No, it's just purely decoration. Okay. Um, what What is this going to do for me now, though, that it's all upgraded? Anything? Do I notice anything different yet? 
I don't know. We'll figure that out. And then... Um, I can make a flower shelf. Sure. Oh. Alright. I can put flowers in my house. Okay. Okay. Um, I guess, sure. They can be red, yellow, or white. Okay, well, let's just do a white one. But it looks like you can't rotate them. And they don't quite fit evenly. Alright. And it's not like they only take up one space. Okay. And I guess we'll do this. Okay. We're going to need to get a bunch of um, paper and glue and paint. All right. Well, the flowers look great. I mean, my house looks pretty sick. All right. Let's check on the beer situation. And did you make any? This is about to be done. Perfect. Boom. Boom. Actually, let me. Are there new technologies? Let me check this. Did they add anything? Not that I see yet. I will right, figure it out. Now, there are a bunch of recipes that I actually don't know, so we'll f see about that too. I did get, obviously, the cooking achievement, so. I've made a bunch of recipes. Alright, let's clean Jerry. Let's start. Are you ready to shine as bright as a diamond? Aw, Jerry. I'll be so cool after I'm all washed. Yes, you will. Should I be afraid someone will want to steal me? Ha! There's nobody around, Jerry. You seem a little too fussy today, you know? I don't think so. Just a lot of things to do. Let's get started. Careful around my nasal cavity. It's a little sensitive. Anything you say, Jerry. All right. He, he, he. Oh, he, it tickles him. And we got the key. Ah, that was the spot. And what a smell. Mm, I must say, you have soft hands. Thank you. Enjoy your cleanliness. All right. We got the key, dude. Finally, I was just about to take a nap. Well, there's plenty of nice embalming tables you can rest on. I needed some time to find this key. Whoa, listen to this new music track. This is brand new. Quickly, give it to me. So did you find it? Keyhole or whatever? Certainly, that part was child's play. Okay, good. Oh my, look how huge this is. Oh my, what a mess. What happened here? I don't know. This is all new to me. All the workbenches, they're totally broken. Lucky for you, I can fix them. Just a bunch of broken beer and wine bottles. What should I do now? Seriously, what happened here? Well, we're here now. Maybe you can finally tell me what's going on. Seems I have little choice. Yeah, Yurik. Listen, like I said before, I'm in trouble. In fact, I'm on the run. I committed a bit of a crime. A crime? Oh, I'm, in, I'm aiding and abetting. Oh, don't worry so much about that. I didn't kill or hurt anybody. It's a difficult life in town these days. Even more difficult for certain kinds of criminals. I had to steal my own money to buy a keeper's book on the black market. 
Long story short, in order to escape and cover my tracks, I pretended to be a corpse and waited for a long time. Okay, good. I don't even know what's going on. I honestly glanced at what the DLC did, but couldn't process it, and kind of wanted to just come in unspoiled, so I didn't think too hard about it. Um, how did you come to live in town? Once, on a rainy evening, some judge took me into his home, wet and hungry. Thanks to him, I had a roof over my head and food to eat. He had but one condition, that I become his assistant. The judge had an old servant woman, quite well educated. She taught me how to read and write. So that's how I got my start dealing with tons of monotonous paperwork and all manner of people. You became a little bureaucrat. Why did you run away from the town? In fact, I never wanted to run away, but it is what it is. I n never expected that Bishop was just a smug crock. Oh, you know the beautiful Bishop, the BB. What? Bishop? A crook? He swindled me for a lot of money. I sold nearly all I own. For this endowment, the Bishop promised to cleanse my soul of sin during service at the local church. All I got from him was some crappy prayer. Oh, and that God will forgive me, of course. Cleanse your soul of sins? Yeah, you know. I had enough of my boring life. I even started seeing paperwork and faces in my dreams. So many taverns, so many fights, brothels with their puffed up lasses, boring court sessions, endless shouting, objections and fights, always fights. I got fed up with it. We all bear our sins, that's what they teach us, right? I guess? Or so I thought, but what if one could cleanse himself of sin? Okay. So that's what we're doing? We're cleansing people of sins? Take in a breath of fresh air. Interesting. I mean, I am good at, like, changing the morality of bodies if white skulls means less sins. So that's why you're here? Yes, I managed to find a keeper's book on the black market. To acquire it, I had to take all my money from the charlatan. Naturally, it's strange that you know nothing about this book, but very well. Well, I'm not the only keeper. That's right, I'm, what, the fourth keeper? Oh, I see. That explains why you look so lost. Ha ha. This book contains notes on procedures for healing a soul of its sins. Well, I do have a confessional booth, I guess. How's that? I don't understand. With the help of these broken workbenches, it also says something about healing a living soul. But damn it, some of the pages are simply torn out. You just can't trust anyone these days. Maybe we can figure it out ourselves? Oh, that's a brilliant idea. This room and all its contents are to be yours, and in return, you will help me solve my little problem. Deal? I mean, honestly, I probably have enough gold to pay off whatever the problem is. Yeah, sure. What will you do next? I don't know yet, but I'll definitely have to stay here for a while. They're probably still looking for me. Yeah, knowing the bishop. I don't know if it's the same as the BB. It could be a different bishop. Do you see that door? I do. Yes. There, there's a small room. I'll keep myself out of the way in there. You don't have to worry. No stranger will find you here. That's great. Wait, what should I do? Oh, look, it says here there should be a workbench with some blueprints. You'd have to clean this dump up anyway. Judging from how the book is written, keepers are highly intelligent individuals. Well, thank you. I'm sure you'll know what to do next. Yes, I do. Hmm, what's this? Hey, Yurik, do you know what it is? Wow, it looks like a Ghostbusters trap. I have absolutely no idea. Let's see if the book says anything about a box. Well, not much. Just a smidgen of bold text saying it's better not to touch it. Okay. But that only makes me even more curious to learn what's inside. Don't touch it. Maybe we really shouldn't touch it. The notes in the book haven't steered us wrong yet. Oh, come on. What could possibly be dangerous? I don't know. Maybe it's filled with poisonous spores? Ha! A pair of dirty old socks, more like. That's the greatest danger this box poses. 
Please don't open it. Interesting. Hmm. I can't figure it out. Maybe we should get some tools. No need. We'll manage. Oh, that hurts. It looks like you fixed it. Oh, God. Let a ghost out of the box. It is the Ghostbusters trap. What the heck are you? I have the same question. What the heck are you? Achievement unlocked. A locked ghost from the past. I'm Graveyard Keeper, and this is Yurik, town resident. I mean, former resident. And you are? I don't know who I am. I don't even have a name. Wow. I mean, I've seen ghosts in the game before. I was born in this dungeon with the help of a graveyard keeper with a mustache. I see. If you don't have a name, we should give you one. Let's call him R.I.P.O. Yurik, something simpler for our own sake. We'll have to say it every time. Oh, that was just a joke. Fine, we'll come up with something simple. How about ha? I've got it. I like your expression. So we'll call you Smiler. It's like Slimer, but Smiler. Are you sure that's a good idea? I like it. It sounds funny. I gather you've been stuck in that box for quite some time? And how much time passed? I don't know. Definitely <coughs> more than a couple years. Seems like it. All right. I'm glad to meet you, Slimeiler. <coughs> I'll get going. I've got something things to do. Yes, you get back to your little room. You unlocked a new technology and got Blueprint Soul Container 1 Base Blueprint Workbench. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Spiritualism. Oh, my gosh. The book has a Pac-Man ghost on it. That's hilarious. And, okay. Um, I have a whole new tab to my technologies tree. And I just want to say they listened to me in my five wishes for Graveyard Keeper because one of them was some way to spend all of the experience that I accumulated over, you know, the year I spent playing through the game. However, there is, of course, a new currency that I don't have, which looks like Smiler Points or Smiler Points souls I don't know find out more about Smiler and what are you doing repair the strange mechanism what's the matter why don't you go in have I suddenly grown weak or is there is something wrong with the hatch try it for yourself it barely moves won't turn any farther looks like it got rusty what are we to do now will you have to break it open Maybe we should lubricate the hatch. That would probably help. Sounds like a plan. Well, I've got plenty of oil. Very well, then. You go get some oil, and I'll guard the hatch. I told you. Nobody ever comes here. Well, I got here somehow, did I not? Perhaps somebody else might come through. Go now, and worry not. I'll be on guard. Okay. So I need to bring a bottle of oil, and I need to talk to Smiler. Excellent. All right, well, we've opened up an, an entire new chamber that has its own new music with God knows what going on. I guess I can clean up this rubble and I get... What are these things? Some new currency? But I can't pick it up yet for some reason. Even though... I mean... My bag should be totally free. Maybe I can't put them in bags. Okay. Um. Oh, I guess. Yeah, broken glass. I couldn't pick it up for some reason. Um, interesting. It wouldn't go into any of my bags. That's strange. All right. Um. How do you move something from one place to another? That's a great question. Can't remember how to do that. No? That's not it. I don't know. Anyway. 
Well, we'll figure that out in a bit, but for now, uh, I think this is a great place to stop this first episode getting into the Better Save Soul DLC. We are on the path, we're learning more, and I'm having a blast playing Graveyard Keeper again. Everyone, I want to thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an excellent evening or day. And please, in the comments below, let me know, what do you think about this so far? Are you excited about more Graveyard Keeper? Do you think uh, this new chamber is going to be cool? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Do you have the DLC already? What, do, what are your feelings about it? Let me know in those comments, and I will check you guys in the next episode. You can better believe that I'm going to play through this entire DLC and probably try to do all the achievements that come with it because I love me some Graveyard Keeper. All right, everybody. Take care.